Well, this is exciting too. The Lone Star State now has $96 million in COVID related federal funds and beginning today, that money will be used to help Texans who are behind on their rent and utilities. It's a program that since its inception has already made a difference for more than a million people. The last time the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs opened its rent relief portal was in 2021. And judging by what they have already seen today at the application website texasrentrelief.com, the need still exists. We got 4,000 applications in the first hour this morning. That's Executive Director Bobby Wilkinson. Within two hours, the website posted a notice that because of the high volume, some people were experiencing delays in starting their application. The, the website itself is, is fine, so you can you can get on there, go to the frequently asked questions, uh, you know, resources, you know, see if you're eligible. But the payment portal, it's it's not crash, it's auto scaling. So some people are getting in and some aren't. Wilkinson says that in the meantime, you can still check to see if you qualify for this program. Just go to the home page and scroll to the bottom where you will be asked to answer questions about your county and how many people live in your home. We found that the annual income limit for a household of four in Nueces County is $62,000. It's the same in San Patricio County, but less in counties like Clayburg. Jim Wells and B. And if you're wondering whether it is worth applying, consider this. Since the program's inception, Nueces County has seen an average of more than $6,400 given to each eligible household for help with rent and utilities. All right, so once again, here's the website where you can go to apply, texasrentrelief.com. If you have any problems starting a new application, Wilkinson says, well, just keep trying back and eventually you will get in. You can also call the number that you see there if you need help navigating that website. Keep in mind, they'll only be accepting applications for two weeks until Tuesday, March 28th.